Julia is going to talk about uh, uncertainty. Uh, and um, I'm very happy to hand over to Julia. Thank you, Christian Sivers. Great uh, introduction, and thank you for the Chaos Computer Club who has allowed us to get involved with you. Something that really pissed me off today was this reporter guy who said, well, I, aren't you guys interacting with each other? I mean, where's the place I can go to see hackers and artists get together? Where, where do I go? And that kind of pissed me off. Do you know why that pissed me off? Why do you think that pissed me off? Anyway, so this sh uh, talk will be short, and then I'll open it up for questions. Um, the presentation is a, a variation on what I had put into PowerPoint. What is uncertainty? What is an uncertainty definition in your computer? Uh, what is uncertainty for you? And what are the myriad questions that it brings up for your own work in your own field? And I think the journalist's point was um, the getting together of the groups was about the certainty that something would come together, something would erase boundaries and bring us all to a new place. So. I'm going to have a hands-on, which is a non-digital component of this talk, and then we'll go back into the virtual world and end with TARS in the movie Interstellar. So I'd like to go from the landscape of what our the next presentation will be, which is grounded in reality and in art, and back it through to um, back end it to the virtual. So what is hacking? I would like to approach hacking from our artistic perspective. Here is the natural world, and I've miked uh, this tree. Now, I bring the tree because yesterday we had an amazing and glorious tree presentation. I don't know how many of you saw it, but I was very impressed by the multiplicity and the duplication and the care that went into this particular presentation, so I bring a tree. Now, to hack into this tree wouldn't be like yesterday's presentation of the small hacks to make the forceps work better, would it? So, let's just say I'm presenting to you a scissors and a tree. Is anybody certain here that I'm going to cut the tree? Who has a feeling of certainty about a speaker cutting into a tree? Not a virtual one, a real one. Anybody here have certainty? Don't worry, this won't go on too long. Certainty. Who is uncertain? that I, as a speaker, might cut up a tree. Okay, ah, three, four, okay. Now again, I'm going with the assumption, someone had an assumption about we would be getting together and sharing something here. Okay. Now, if I hack off a branch, is that hacking? What is it? Okay. Okay, who would like to do it instead of me? I have one wipe up, wipe it here, sterile pad. Who would like to take my place as artist and hack off a piece of the tree? Who would like to do it? For those of you who mostly sit at your computer, this, this might feel uh, a, a familiar familiar, to cut, to hack, to chew, to misplace, to redirect. Anybody, I have a cleanup wipey here. One cleanup wipey. Okay. 
It's a real American scissors, but it says Swiss. Okay. Fake. It's a fake American scissors. Okay. I've miked my plant to see if there's pain if I cut. Okay? All right. Who wants me to stop? Have I gone too far? Have I hacked too deeply? Oh, okay. I'm going to stop. Yeah, it's a tree. It's my tree. Look what's coming out of the edges. Come look. Okay. It's wh white. Is it, is this blood? What is this? For you bioenvironmentalists. Okay, I'm going to share my hack with all of you later. If you'd like to cut up this tree and take some home and plant it, um, you're welcome to do so. All right, no takers. I always also have a sharper blade, a blade, exacto blade. Would anyone like to take a piece of the tree with a blade? Is the blade different than the scissors? Who's uncertain? As a blade different than a scissors? Have I lost you? Astute Merlide for English, Lectus English. Is diese Maschine verschiedenes alles die anderen? Die gleiche oder verschiedenes? You're wondering, what is this woman talking about? What? They're different. Why are they? Exactly, exactly. It depends. Your And your perspective depends on what is uncertainty, what is not. What are you uncertain about? What is your perspective? What is your zeal? What is you lustig? Earlier today, someone told me that when they took the randomizer out of Doom, no one was interested in the game. Because you couldn't, even if you were really bad at it, you could kind of figure out how to get through it. Randomization and cutting on the plant. It's only one aspect of what? What is this? What is cutting a plant? Shaping, sharing, what else? Or is this a little weird that you take an exacto blade to a plant? Okay, why is it weird? Why is it weird? Warum ist das nicht normal? What? Yes. What else? What? Yes. What else? What? There's no use of it, but it could be fun. And for the hackers, hold that. What else? What else? What else is big? You're missing. Big. Risky. What's the relationship between risk and uncertainty as far as your own jobs go? Now, I hold, think about it. I was going to start with a slide of all the jobs available to artists at Sotheby's. All the cool jobs you can get. But these are jobs taken up by the straight people in your school, the people who had it all, who had the clothes, who were in all the right dance parties, and have now taken away the jobs from the nerds, from the outcasts, from the people who thought differently, even on American television shows. The straight people who always were the it people have taken up the positions of comics and stand-up comedy and theater, taking up the jobs, because uh, that's the way it's going right now. OK. Uh, <laughs> could someone tell me about choice? You choose to sit here while I'm hacking away at this 
tree, or do you feel obligated? Is it an obligation? Or are you uncertain? Or did you just want to sit down? <laughs> In the world... Oh, reproduction. Female reproduction. Now, the movie Interstellar, all they tell us really that all that women are good for is laying eggs. Very horrible, horrible part of this film. I hate, I love the film. I hate the script. I hate the idea. I don't hate. I dislike strongly. What does dislike have to do with uncertainty? What does dislike have to do with uncertainty? Okay. Next slide. Uncertainty never slowed down inspiration. And that's for artists and for hackers. What is uncertainty a target for or with, even if you are uncertain yourself? Explain your vision and challenge doubtfulness. Okay, the next slide, next slide, okay. <laughs> So I have the plant under microphone here. Can everyone hear the plant? Are you able to hear the plant? You are. Oh, good. Okay, great. <laughs> Glad you can do that. How cool. Okay. Why would I have put a microphone to the plant? Say you put a bug on someone's phone, or say you're just listening in on something. I'm trying to segue from... Um, definitions of uncertainty to somewhere you might cut a little or make a hack. I loved the word yesterday when she said a little hack to make the forceps go rectangle. I love that. Did you hear that? A little hack. I just thought that was amazing. Okay. Now, as in the case of Doom, random generator from tank was removed. I see nobody here is removing anything from these texts. No one is cutting or editing anything that goes into this conference. I think that's a real plus. That's very exciting. Okay. Impersonation. What role does impersonation play in uncertainty or making someone uncertain about you? impersonation. This is actually my good friend Celeste Olalquiaga impersonating a plant. This is not really a plant. Now online you can do that. Not here. Okay. Any questions so far? Questions? The schlechtes English, I know. Ich weiß. Im fensteren Wald, deep in a forest of cool resignation, we have founded Security Nation, deep in a forest of cool resignation. We have founded Security Nation. Okay. Decision making. Who likes making decisions when they're uncertain? Or is it a part of our DNA makeup that without uncertainty, it wouldn't be any fun to make decisions anymore? What do you think? Does anyone have an opinion on this? Then I would show you a slide of a young man going in the military. Okay, Another slide of the NSA. Another side of um, the group um, Heart singing a Led Zeppelin song. Okay. <laughs> All right. Lines like, no uncertain future, are very popular in America. Do you have the same thing here in Germany? Obama will say, for example, no uncertain future. Do you know what that means? No uncertain future. Or, in no uncertain terms, will we agree to a treaty with those brutes, those dark people? No uncertain terms. It's, maybe it's not very American. Okay. What happened to Snowden, for example, was uncertain. Who plays Boggle? Who plays Boggle? Boggle? Anybody? 
One, Boggle. Okay, here's a slide of Boggle. Boggle is the game my genius friends in Southern California who worked for McAfee would play so they could outsmart me and show me how fast and amazing they were. And they were. And it was beautiful. And I loved being beat in Boggle. I loved the uncertainty, though, that I might at some point get one or two points and they would get 126. What's that uncertainty about? Is there pleasure and desire connected to the idea of uncertainty. Think for yourself. It's individual. Everybody's got their own way. Pleasure and desire. They're different things in the world of what is certain. If you certain you're going to get pregnant next month, if you were certain what gender the baby was, 20, 30 years ago, it would be really weird. You would have gone to a psychic or something. Today, it's normal. As we remove more uncertainty from the world, that there will not be sarin gas in the air or a bomb in your airplane, what things have we done, especially online, to enhance uncertainty, to make it bigger and brighter? Perhaps you have your own cool examples. All right, here is the list of jobs for the artists who I promised I would talk about, talk about job security. Here is a list of jobs that you can easily uh, look up um, for getting jobs after your uncertain future in art school. And um, it's pages and pages. One of them is from a really interesting book, Risk and Uncertainty in the Art World, edited by Anna Dempster. And it talks about authority and the cases of jobs and the cases of you can be just an artist but end up being a program director. Okay. Okay. There are spectrums of insecurity, chaos theory, natural mechanisms, and um, uh, the slide would be a wireless access point. When you plug into a wireless access point or a new point, what's the biggest thrill? What's the most exciting thing for those of you who do it? The most exciting part. Um, what's exciting? Connecting. Connecting. Yes, an agreement over here. When you connect... <laughs> What is so certain about connecting? What happens to most people when you make a connection? Getting access and, and for the hacker here in you. Okay, what, it, listening into others. So I told someone yesterday that most people here at our school are voyeurs. Is everybody else here a voyeur? Are there more positions for voyeurs? Yes, online. You're making them. Why? Uh, has anybody read uh, Ken Goldberg's Uncanny Valley? Okay. Um, there are, I would show up the slide now that says three ways to calculate uncertainty. And then, because you would be depressed after that, a Carnegie Mellon University School of Computing Science, which teaches you how, as a computer engineer, how to cope with uncertainty. Now, this is American from a research that Christian did months ago. He's uncovered the percentage of jobs by the German government, part-time jobs for like-minded people uh, working on computers. And it's a great percentage. I'm sure it's the equivalent in the United States. So there are jobs for coping with the insecurity of, for example, money. How does uncertainty premiere? Well, we had uh, a Snowden gave a big premiere when he went up on the news. What are some of the other forms that your work appears as um, when you break the news or you break a hack, 
There's the media and what else? Your friends. What else? Do you ever uh, do you ever do something else with it? Do you have a party? Personal emotion. Reacting victim. Do you have do hackers have any threat insurance? Do hackers have any threat insurance if someone threatens you? Is there any insurance? There is? Yeah. Actually, as a life insurance, and everything, anything would happen to anybody of WikiLeaks, they threaten to publish the password to the file where there would be, <coughs> I don't know, harmful things inside. I think there was something like that, but nobody ever opened it, so nobody knows if it really was. Ha! Yeah. <coughs> uncertainty. Yes. Very and uncertain. then there's extortion. Was is extortion in Deutsch? You are extorted? Uh, extortion? Oh, it's time to go. I, okay. okay. A pressung, okay. Blackmailing, too. You're uncertain. <laughs> exactly. Exactly my point. The, the gross, okay, this is a great uh, field. Could you say the, um, uh, How, in this context, would you solve uncertainty? Solve. How, in that context, would you solve uncertainty? Would you avoid going for the avoidance? You mean in, this, in the context of looking up the word? Yes. I don't know. Um, asking Google? <laughs> Google. Yes, and right now we will Google that. Okay. So, uh, okay. Uh, another point, and I'm just going to open it up for questions after a few more points. How about your reaction to stress on your job? Who's uncertain about how they should react to certain things? How, basically, how do you handle stress? when you do something, when you are uncertain as to the reaction. Stress. No stress reactions. Does anybody here get stressed out at their job? Sometimes. Who never gets stressed out? Wow. Oh, OK. So, wow. Uh, okay. Who thought it was stressful to watch the rolling zebra yesterday? I was very stressed out by that. Okay. Okay. Uh, fluid simulation demos. I found it very stressful. And then I went to the creator later and talked to him. Okay. So, um, I'd like to um, just move to uh, SARS on um, the internet and just look at SARS the robot um, or uh, Princess Leia, uh, which do you prefer? Or who's uncertain? Who's uncertain about what's a better picture? Princess Leia or who wants Princess Leia? Okay, one, two, three. Okay, let's, let's find, let's see if I can find Princess Leia. Is she a goddess to you or is she just a, Actress who, you know, kind of. I'm going to try and find Princess Leia, and you can decide for yourselves who would like this plant. Okay. It's, it's not funny. She's very. She's very serious. How do you spell her name? There it is. <laughs> Okay, well, wow. 
Okay, I guess I just could have gone to the web the whole time. Okay, so how did she, how did Princess Leia deal with, now that we've talked a little bit about some aspects of stress and, and um, in uncertainty, how do you think Princess Leia reacted to uh, uncertainty in her life? in her fake TV movie blockbuster life. No one cares. Okay. Do you care more about a male actor? Let's go to Han Solo. Okay. Do you have more to say about he how about how <laughs> how he handled the same thing? He shoots. He shoots. He doesn't cut. He shoots. He shoots. Han Solo and uncertainty. How does Hans deal with Uncertainty, yes. Yeah. He tries to escape. Oh. I guess he um, may follow his nose and um, try to do, uh, try uh, not to think about things too much, but try them out, maybe. How, who is in agreement? I'm sorry this is so participatory. For those of you who think this is terrible, Put your arm up, and I'll stop, and I'll read my well, read my text. Yeah. Well, he take, see, he simply takes an action. He takes an opportunity, I believe. He takes action and opportunity to undo evil or to get someone into for profit or into his rocket ship or. Okay, he takes action. Everybody here in this room takes action. No or yes? How come nobody said Princess Leia takes action? What does she do? What did she do in this film? What did the char okay. What did the character Princess Leia do in this particular film? Yes. Yes. But she, she plans for escape, like a princess in a castle. <laughs> yes. Okay. But was she wearing that slave outfit? Or where's that slave outfit? Okay. I. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, this one. What did she do when she was wearing this outfit? Yes, okay. So she took some action. You kind of forget that. What does this have to do with computing, you ask? <laughs> it has a lot to do with computing. Okay. All right. They're dealing with uncertainty in a mobile application. They're mobile, just like you guys are. It's mobile now. It's mobile. I just saw a case room this morning for the first time. It's mobile. You're not fixed. So it's a filmic version of a lot of things, turmoil and, and evil and bad things, but it's mobilized. You've reconfigured other things to be mobilized. Okay. Um, I think I should uh, stop for questions. So I haven't, I'm open to your retorts and remarks that contradict everything that I've said. Because it's yes, no, right? In digital or binary, everything here is in binary form. Yes or no, open or close, yes. What was the connection to Interstellar? Oh, yes. Um, okay, let me bring up this wonderful picture. One of my favorite robots. 
I love robots. And Robot in the Garden is something uh, Ken Goldberg would really like to hear about, I'm sure, as they're watching in Berkeley. I'm so sorry I didn't get the picture. OK. Um, uh, So Tars the robot does not claim to take on any human form. In this particular robot, the configuration is rather anti-HAL. The configuration need not take on the pejoratives, the limitations, or the bio-constructs of humanoidism. So for that reason, um, I very much like this robot character in this film. Um, Another thing the robot, this is the robot. Another thing this robot does, it does things that a human-shaped robot couldn't do, like it's rescuing this lady whose name, Brand, who's going to be laying all these baby eggs. Um, anyway, see, there's a giant wave. Who has not seen this film? Oh, I'm sorry. Oops. I apologize. I should not be... Don't just pretend you didn't see that. Okay, let's look at something else. Let's look at um, um, um. okay. We'll look at something. Um, uh. Okay, we'll go. Okay, we'll 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 go back to this. Um, Pretend you did not see that. Now, can you unsee anything? Yes. All right. So here we uh, go with the uncertainty principle and disambiguation and a couple of other main features of contemporary artwork that you're probably already familiar with. My point here was to um, look at the positioning of uncertainty as a locus from which we could gather together, share stories, and look at some of our own reaction formations to conditions of uncertainty as we approach them in our own work. So I just continue to hope that you have more discussions on this. Um, I don't really want to uh, burden you with any more until there, if there are any questions so far with Okay, I'll make a last closing point then. Uh, I'm uncertain about uh, some of the things in the universe, but some things which I am certain about, I keep very private. And I can't say why, and I just would be curious about you. It's another discussion of privacy versus exposure and publicness. But I think it's a great discussion to have later. So thank you very much. Any questions? Anything? Uh, anyone would like to plant? Um, okay, all right. It, it, it's yours. I think I need the pot back, though. <laughs> so I, the other plants are waiting. Julia, I have a question. Uh oh, okay. Yes. Is it a problem we didn't see the slides? Well, I guess that depends uh, how certain you are about my selection of slides. I'm uh, certain it uh, follows a logic uh, from A to B, from B to C, but I don't really think that way. So perhaps it 
doesn't matter at all. I'm pretty certain about that. In the scheme of things, in the scheme of things, it matters not. Because we have very short time on Earth. Very short. And I'm I'm pretty I can I'm pretty certain about that. Does anyone care that they didn't see any slides? I think I saw them. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, well, thanks for uh, uh, all the events of CCC and everybody in Berkeley. Hello, and um, I'll I'll see you all at uh, the next. Take care. <laughs>